productivity and efficiency is in Grob's DNA. But how can you improve that even further with products such as GrobNet for industry, which you developed about seven years ago? Yeah, our main um, idea is to connect every production unit, every machine, every asset, you can call it, with a standardized connectivity solution um, to have all that data available and create transparency. And, and this works around the machine for all issues that can happen to the productivity. Now when we talk about transparency and, and, and downtime and inefficiency, what would you kind of say is, is an average um, wasted percentage that, you, you, that you've seen from the data that you've acquired? Yes, we see here in that example on that graphics that round about uh, the worldwide industry have an average loss of 25% just by organizational issues. Wow. Added then plus with uh, technical issues that can happen to any machine or any system always. Yeah. Um, so that is a real, real big number. In regards to the machine tools, it's very difficult now to improve their efficiency mechanically, um, but the efficiency gains are certainly coming from digitalization and digital products such as yours. How do yours work and how do you actually get more productivity from the manufacturing facility using GrobNet for industry? Yeah, physically machines are kindly at the end because there is no further um, um, possibility to speed up machines on a physical yeah. way. So all these things around the machine, maintenance, operator support, the um, controlling of calculations or calculated run times have a big, um, a big possibility or a big opportunity to be reduced and add value then on the reduction of costs. In Mindelheim, your home, where you've got a very large manufacturing facility, um, you're also practicing what you preach um, with this digital product. Can you kind of tell me some of the results that you're seeing from this? Oh yeah, we receive good results. At the beginning it was a need because we automize more and more and we need transparency and operator support on the weekend, in the nights. But after a while, we started the prioritization of our activities and immediately we had a reduction of our internal costs. When you're talking to end users and potential customers about this product, what are typical barriers to entry that you come across? It's the connectivity, because the connectivity is the fundamental layer to build up any kind of use case or idea. And this is where everybody is easily struggling, um, is highly complicated. And for us, the key for success was, has been that we built up an independent or brand independent connectivity that enables us to connect any machine, any asset in any environment. And so we have an overall um, transparency and we can have a view on all machine data all around. And this is the key for success. In, in your opinion, and I think you've answered that question, do you believe that this is a game changer and that this should be used by all engineers regardless of the brand? Yes, 100% uh, yes. The background is without transparency, we think and we believe, but we don't know. And it's very important um, to know what we have to do and making the right decisions. And finally, and thank you very much for all this information, it's been an absolute pleasure, but finally, what's the future hold? Where, what, what do you see the future uh, of, of, of digitalization becoming with the introduction of artificial intelligence? Mm. Some people won't like me maybe because of this sentence, <laughs> uh, but I believe in the artificial intelligence. We have to limit and restrict the functionality for sure, for specific use cases, but that's the only way how AI can really work. You have to limit what is it used for and what it can um, um, enter to which system and to which database, but it will affect to all of us that I'm sure for that because we're running out of capacities by um, employees, so we need more support by the technology and digitization is the key for success, I believe.